everybody, I'm Chris. You're watching Provost Park Pass, and today is day number 10 of staying at every single Disney World resort in a row. And today is the first day I'm staying at a deluxe resort, the first of 10. We're at the Polynesian Village. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, in today's video, I'm gonna do something I haven't done in any of the other resort videos. Stay tuned to find out what that is. Let's do this. We're getting a slight rain. I'm walking into the lobby to check in, and this is my first time staying here at this resort. And boy, howdy, it looks awesome. Wow, there's the monorail. This is the main entrance right here to the lobby. This is, oh, look at this. Wow, look at this, we're right over here. We're gonna go get checked in, guys. That's an amazing resort. Let's do it. Aloha. You're more than welcome. All right, I got checked in. My room's not ready, but they, got, they gave me like the lay. My room's not ready, so I'm gonna walk around and show you this whole resort. And uh, let's go from top to bottom. There's a lot here, a lot of good character dining, with some really good restaurants. There's all kinds of things here that uh, I'm not familiar with, plus the secret Dole Whip. Let's go show you this resort. Let's start here in the lobby. Look up. Oh, wow. So, look at this little lava rock waterfall here. This is a pretty amazing area. You'll notice the carpets and the everything here is Polynesian. Look over here. Oh, there's a giant map. That might be suitable for us. Check this out. Yeah. And I'm going to be going through all this. There's two different pools here. We're going to be talking about that. I'm going to show you where I'm staying at. They also have these Bora Bora area. <laughs> Super nice areas. Of course, the characters you can see probably the most here will be Lilo and Stitch. I'm sure they're going to be running around here. Lilo and Stitch. There we go. This is still the lobby. Let's go in here, the boutique. I love this lobby. Oh, it's like Ohana, what's it? Ohana Mercantile? We have to check this all out. We'll see it all. This is the boutique. Let's go in. Right out the bat, you're gonna see here. <laughs> this is sweet. They got a hat. It says the Polynesian Village Resort. They also have these shirts right here that say Disney's Polynesian. Remember, as we, different resorts now, they're gonna have their own merchandise. Oh, this is like a little six peat hospitality set. Look at all this. Oh, we've got Moana, of course. She's got to be represented here. And look at these ears. Oh, those are sweet. And those are the back of the ears. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Dole Whip. Dole Whip's a thing here, guys. I'll show you that a little later on. Now we're at a deluxe resort. We're seeing even more merchandise, guys. They have this Disney's Polynesian Village Resort bathrobe. There's a lounge fly. They also have this little cup right here. Tiki lamp that you can get, a little tiki lamp. And they'll, they'll ship it for you. They have like down here. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. This is, what is this? Oh, I thought this was a, is this a salt and pepper shaker? I don't want to ruin it, hang on. Okay, it is a salt and pepper shaker, but it's a display set, so I glue this on, but a little salt and pepper shaker. What? Look at that Dole Whip. Aloha from the Polynesian Village Resort. Over here, cute little shirt. Disney's Polynesian Resort Village. Paradise waits for you, Disney's Polynesian Resort. But I think there's even more. Right here in the, the sleeve, it says Disney's Polynesian Resort. And it's like a little coconut pirate from Moana. Of course, you got Moana down here. And let's look over here at these shirts. It's a nice little sweat. It's very soft. Disney's Polynesian Resort Village. I don't know if there's anything on the back. Oh, there is. Aloha. What do we have here? More Moana. You guys, wow. They even have stuff here from Milani. Hey, Tiki, I got a question for you. Do you know what I like to wear around my neck? My tie. <laughs> my tie. My tie. <laughs> Get it? And if you look back over my shoulder, you can see that everything themed in here is Polynesian. It's got like an island flair. This is just the first, this is the boutique, which I love. That's a great name. We are at a deluxe resort, so now they have a lot more merchandise. They've got button-down shirts. They've got like just like classic. Uh, yeah, I mean, you need that, right? This. I just realized. I think in my suitcase I have a Hawaiian shirt. 
And if I do, I might have to put it on today when I can check into my room. Swimming suits, tank tops, shirts, everything you need. Flip-flops, shoes, nice flip-flops. Sundresses, sundresses, hats, jewelry, watches, mugs, more hats. They've got a lot. Pins, watches, rings, jewelry. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much good stuff here. Sundresses. I just realized I haven't seen any pins for the Polynesian. I'm sure there are some, but shorts. We'll look for them. Hey, Tiki, I'm back. Um, why did the cracked Tiki mug give up drinking? Because he couldn't hold his liquor. <laughs> I don't think this is the time for that type of humor. I found him. Here are the Polynesian Village Resort pins. This is awesome. So when we were in Disney, uh, Tokyo Disneyland, if you guys see those videos, it's really fun to watch. And also Hong Kong Disney, we were really introduced to Duffy and Friends and we became obsessed with Duffy and Friends. And Olamil is one of Duffy's friends. And Duffy and Friends isn't really popular here in the United States, but it is in the Lani Resort. They have Olamil there and they have him here, which is the only other resort they know that has him here. Huh? Oh, Olamil. Check this out. Way to go. I just FaceTimed Amanda to show her this and she's like, I want it, I want it right now. I'm so excited guys. Amanda and Miles will be here in just a couple of days. I cannot wait for them to get here. Um, but yeah, she's like, I want it. Let's go back out in the lobby and let's go check out. We got even more stuff to look at here, guys. All right, let's take a look at this first restaurant called Captain Cook's. We're starting to see different food. They have Pan-Asian noodles. Spicy Korean chicken bowl, that sounds so good. Pulled pork nachos, Thai coconut meatballs, and Caesar salad with chicken. We also have Hawaiian flatbread and pepperoni flatbread and cheese flatbread pizzas. For Captain Cook's, there's plenty of indoor seating and then mostly people want to sit outside. I was walking up the steps and I looked over here and I saw this. I'm pretty sure that's a hidden Mickey. I'm on the second level of the lobby here, the second level. We were just down there, that's the boutique. But right up here, they now have the Moana Mercantile. Here's more grab and go items. A little more grab and go items you have. You're gonna see that they also have, you know, anything that you might have left. They also have wine. There's a little more uh, adult beverages. Bread, chip, look at this. They have big box of cereal now. They've got sugar, Campbell's, you know, big, big uh, syrup. And of course, candy. Games, all Disney themed games. Normal games that have been themed for Disney. Bubble Wands, one of those popular things in the world. Have Disney railroads, Disney castles. You can see there's much more stuff here at the deluxe resorts. A lot of Stitch merchandise up here, of course. Tons. When I say tons, I mean a lot. A lot of Stitch merchandise. Like, all Stitch, all day. Okay, right behind me is the Ohana restaurant. This is one of the most popular restaurants. Re reservations, almost assuredly you have to have reservations. They do have some walkouts, but it's very difficult. I have a reservation, I'll be showing this. I have it for tomorrow morning for breakfast. When I do my breakfast, I'll be going there for a character breakfast. But this is the Ohana restaurant. Again, if you use the getaway today, they'll make the reservations for you. But you almost cannot get in if you don't have a reservation. This is the seating area where you're waiting to go in the Ohana's restaurant. Like I said, it is super, super popular. There's another cafe here called the Kona Cafe. So this, you, you don't need reservations. You can just walk up here, but they have, look at this. They got sushi. I love poke bowls, dashi bowls, little some entrees, some salmon, steak, burgers and sandwiches. But this resort here, you can just walk in and order your food. And now the cafe is right over there, but they also have the Kona Island, just coffee and sushi. A little Kona Island coffee bar with sushi. That's awesome. This is insane. Chocolate covered bacon. And then they also have like chocolate covered strawberries. And some cupcakes, drinks, sushi to go. A lot of different coffees. They've got like Americanos, lattes, espressos, all the coffee all day long. Oh my gosh, you guys. So it's two bacon pieces stuck together with chocolate and that's chili powder that's spicy hot. So. Uh, they were, I was just told that in the morning, these are flying off the shelves. 
Now behind me is the monorail entrance. I'm gonna get into all the transportation options here at uh, the Polynesian Village because there's, there's a few different options. But we'll get to that in just a moment. So we'll do transportation towards the end of this video. So don't, just cause I'm walking by, don't think that I'm not gonna get to it because I am gonna get to it. I'm gonna go back. I gotta just take one bite of that chocolate covered bacon just to be sure, but I don't know. So I asked the lady because they have spicy and non-spicy and I was like, I think I'll try spicy. And she's like, I'm gonna warn you, it is incredibly hot, like really hot. And so she goes, I think you should go the non-spicy. I was like, oh, well that recommendation. I don't even know if I should be eating this to be honest with you, but this is two pieces of bacon covered in chocolate. We're gonna try it. My wife, Amanda, who's a vegetarian, was super disappointed right now, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm like uber confused right now with what's going on in my mouth. It's like chocolatey, and you know, all of a sudden it's like overpowering with smoky bacon. It's like a it's like a roller coaster of emotion. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But I feel like you need to try things in life sometimes that you're not sure of, that you like. That might be one of them right there. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! All right, I'm on the lower level again. Let's go outside and check it out. Here we are, opening up this outside. Oh, I need to show you something. This is important. Right behind me. They have the pineapple lanai. I think it's from the lanai. And you guys, this is where you can get Dole Whips here off property. You can get Dole Whip with a rum floater or just a normal Dole Whip. And this is really cool here at this resort. That's something very unique to this resort is the Dole Whip. So you, yeah, I mean, why would you not do that? This resort also shares with the DVC. So some of the, the rooms, the buildings here for DVC members and some of the rooms are just, you could just standard rooms that you could stay at. And they also have like these little villages, these Bora Bora villages. You can try to book them, but they're, they're, they're expensive and they're hard to book. But let's go take a look at everything we can. Here we are right here. There's a lava pool where they do most of their activities. They also have the Oasis pool. The Oasis pool is open from seven in the morning to 11 at night. This one's open from 10 to 11. This is the Bora Bora area, which we'll go through, and then show you these different rooms here. And that's also another way to get to Magic Kingdom as well, through the, the boats there. Okay, look at this nice little area here. We're gonna walk you along. This is a big splash pad area for kids. We'll go there when it first opens in the morning. They also have this pool here. We'll go that when that opens in the morning as well. Well, this is, you can just see, it's very, very tropical. So here we are, kind of walking out here. It's a little boat launch area, which I'll get to a little later on in the video. This area here is kind of what everybody sees when you think of the Polynesian village. Those are rooms right above the water. But look at this beach. It has a nice little sand beach. They have some volleyball action here. These are some rooms. These are water view rooms. Now the way that they have this here, they have premier rooms and standard rooms. The premier rooms are like water facing. This area, it's like, those are a bunch of rooms back there. We're just gonna turn this way here because I'm gonna show you. This is like what everybody wants to, like if I had a dream, this is where I'd want to stay, I think, but they are above the water. You're right above the water. They are more expensive. So you're gonna go up in a price point to stay out here in these little uh, bungalows. The only way to walk out there to see them like that is you have to be a bungalow guest. So like um, your key, if you don't have your, uh, if you can't stay out there, you can't walk there on the bungalows, which makes sense. They want their privacy. Oh, oh my gosh, because it is, Florida is it's humid. There's like this, it's like this wee heat wave of water and like, it's just like, and you're like, oh, and I put on sunscreen lotion, but it's still feel hot. And then you're drinking more water and then you get dehydrated. And, and I don't know how you guys do it. For those of people who live in Florida or live in these humid states, I salute you. Um, I, I'm impressed with you because I am not used to this. This, I, Here you can kind of see the different exteriors of the buildings. The buildings have different names, but they're all kind of similar. And you'll notice, look at the walkway, it's incredibly wide. That's a little, my, my lay. 
<laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit about transportation real quickly and I'll go into more depth later on in the video, but there are kind of three different types of transportation modes here. Four technically, but you got the monorail, okay? You got the watercraft that takes you right to Magic Kingdom and you also have buses. Now, technically, you used to be able to walk right from here to Magic Kingdom, but they're doing this big, huge, they're adding a new area and doing construction. Because of the construction, I've been told that the walking area is closed. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be closed permanently or it definitely is closed now temporarily. So you can't walk to Magic Kingdom at this time. You do have three different ways to get the parks. There's another pool right back here. This is called the Oasis Pool. This is called the Quiet Pool. It's open from seven to 11. Now kids can go in here to me, uh, it's fine, but they call it a quiet pool because they're not quiet pool because they're not playing loud music like that. And they kind of keep the, a little bit softer. Just got a text saying that my room is ready. I'm gonna go grab our bag, my bag. Let's go to the room and check out the room. And maybe I should put on a Polynesian shirt. All right, I just learned something new. This is amazing. So let me show you this. This is Miu. Okay, Miu's got a flower. And the, what does that mean? Because it's on the right side. Right side means single. Single. Left side means taken. Taken. So means... You're single. Yes. <laughs> Sadly. This is the building I'm staying at. Let's go check out my room. Let's check out the room. Oh, as you see, this is our first deluxe room that we stayed in. It is very different than the other rooms we stayed at at the moderate or the value. This is a king size bed. And look, look, you got, yeah, look at the lighting. Six pillows, beautiful little pillow there. You got like a little end seat right here, a little, little end seat. Over here, this is a couch that does pull out. I'll show you how to do that a little later on in the video. Kind of turning over here, I'll show you the view in a moment. This, it's very spacious, a little lounge chair over there. Look at that desk right there. Wow, okay. Let's take a look, I mean, let me back up. This room, it feels big. It feels very, very big. So like, look at this room. It is big. Yeah, okay. And I'm like, look at like this, look at this, like this lamp, you can see. Little Moana, perfect. Okay, and we come down here. Beautiful art on the wall. And then you're gonna notice we have a Keurig coffee maker right here. And then I think the drawer, let's see. Yep, there's all the drinks right, right in there. And I bet you the fridge is, yep, little drink cooler right there. Let's look at the closet. You'll notice the closets have doors. Open it up. You have plenty, there's a safe, shelves. This opens up here. Oh, the light turns on when you open it up. Some little drawers right down there. Let's check out this next one. I bet the light turns on when you first open it up. Yep, it does. There's your hangers and iron. Plenty of room. Let's turn here and look into the bathroom. Now the bathroom, Two sinks because we are at like a deluxe resort, right? And this is the this is a different layout than any other bathroom we see at. Every other bathroom, the toilet and the um, shower are in the same room. Here you got two sinks. Look at that mirror. That mirror is very well lit mirror all the way around. And they also they did include this at the Coronado. I forgot to mention that they have these little like mouthwash these little kits here. Two sinks, and then right behind you is the shower right here. So look at this shower. This is. Come in here, very nice shower. It's got a little step there. Ooh, the bottles are different here, interesting. So come over here, we look back here, and over here is the area where you have the toilet. And then you look there, there are your towels. There's some towels in there. And of course, this is like a little pocket door. Oh, I just made it like that. And then that closes. Perfect, you can lock it and then Right there. Oh, I just noticed when you close that, the fan came on. Fancy, fancy. Wow, this room, guys. Oh, let's check out the view. And this here is the view. I'm on the ground level floor. Look at this. Wow. sit out here and just relax and have a beautiful view. Wonderful. 
Guys, I need to show you how to pull out that hide bed but I also looked at my suitcase and I do have a Hawaiian shirt that I was gonna use for when I go to the pool. So uh, let's, I'm gonna change into my Hawaiian shirt using the power of magic. Are you ready? One, two, three. Dang it, it's on backwards. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Guys, I got the, a little Hawaiian shirt action. I, 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 oh, I, yeah, right. The couch. Let's figure this out together. I honestly don't know how to do this one. There's like instructions. Take the pillows off. By the way, this is an octopus. I don't know if you see that. Do you know how many tickles it takes to make an octopus laugh? <laughs> Ten tickles. Right. Not the time for jokes. Let's do this. You grab this strap here. And then you pull down here. All right, push that down here. Now you... <laughs> what do you do? Is that it? Okay. Is that it? It's just a little sleeper bed? Oh! I guess this is just like a little... So then I guess you go like that. Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. So, pull that down. Pull that down. Okay, all right, I got it. And then... You have a bed. Just like that. It's a little single bed. I suppose it all started in third grade when I didn't win the reflections contest. That's when I knew I'd never be enough. You guys, we have to, a lot to talk about because I'm staying here at a deluxe resort. If you stay at any deluxe resort, they have what are called extended hours. Now they don't offer them all the time. It's usually Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. They have extended hours sometimes at Magic Kingdom, sometimes at Epcot. But when the park closes, like today, the park closes at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Since I'm staying at this deluxe resort, that means I get extended hours from 10 p.m. until midnight. I can go into the park and only people who have deluxe resorts or staying in a deluxe resort can go into the park during these extended hours. I am going to do this. I am going to go into the park tonight from 10 until midnight to show you what the park is like and what the wait times are like, if it's worth it, if this is a good perk or not to have, but this only applies to if you're staying in a deluxe resort. And it, the, the, they don't have extended hours every single night. They're only on every couple of nights. But again, our, our friends at Getaway Today, they'll help you plan all that. But yeah, I'm gonna go to extended hours. But before we go to that, the, the after hours, we got there's still more of this resort we gotta explore. Let's do that. All right, so that's Trader Sam's, the, the, the Grad Gordo, the Grad Gordo, Grado, whatever that is. It's a bar, and it opens at 3 o'clock. Now, from 3 to 8, any age can go in there. Uh, children under uh, age 21, they all can go sit in there. There's no, there's, not, no, there's alcohol at that point. Then, after 8 p.m., it's every 21 and over. The wait line to get in is, you yeah, want to get it, it's extensive. Like, uh, right now, I walked in, I walked there to show it, and they're like, it's a three-hour wait. And it's a little teeny tiny bar area. It's dark. It's uh, really cool. So I don't think I'm be able to get in there to show it to you guys. But I just know that that's there. But you'll just go put your name on the wait list. Now I'm going to take you up and show you the monorail. And, uh, how you can get to Disneyland, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot using the monorail. For those who are used to the monorail at Disneyland, it's like an attraction. It's not like that here in Florida. Florida, the monorail is truly a form of transportation. You can, it's like a little subway, You're standing on it, riding it. Right behind me are the monorail tracks. So when you come here, you want to take the monorail. It's two stops to get to Magic Kingdom. Or you go, to, you take the monorail to the transfer station. It's called TTC, the ticket and train. Oh, there goes the monorail. It goes to the ticket and transfer station center, TTC. There you get off the monorail, and then you get on the next monorail. It takes you to Epcot. 
this little transfer, it's not difficult. I'll show you how easy it is to do. All right, here comes the monorail. There's lots of different colors. This one's yellow. All right, let's get on the monorail. Walk all the way back to the end. And it will fill up. It's starting to fill up right now. And you can stand. You can stand here. It's perfectly fine. Or you can sit. Now, when you ride here, it's going to go one stop and stop at the Magic Kingdom. All right, so I switched spots a little bit. So I am. Um, this is stopping here at the Grand Floridian, and then it's like over here to Magic Kingdom, and that's where you get off. It doesn't take very long, it's very easy, it's very simple. So when you're going from the Polynesian village to Magic Kingdom, it's literally the monorail. Now, if you're in an ECB or have a wheelchair, they have ramps that'll bring you on and, and be able to get off. So that's not a problem either. And unlike Disneyland, you can stand up on these monorails. Yeah, there's little handles, little bars, you can't stand up and write. Standing up. All right, I'm getting out here. This is Magic Kingdom. And literally, you're gonna walk right down this little walkway to go into Magic Kingdom. I'll show you. I've had multiple people tell me that they're a little bit nervous or intimidated by coming to Florida, because they're not, they're used to Disneyland where you just go to one hotel and you walk there. And I felt that same way when I was coming to uh, Walt Disney World the first time. It was a little scary. I was like, oh my gosh. But it's it's not it's not not difficult at all. I promise once you get here, you'll be fine. It's not a, not a problem at all. There's Magic Kingdom. I'll be coming here tonight. All right. So that is the entrance to Magic Kingdom. Now this is something you might be thinking, right? Well, Chris, you're like how hard is it to get reservations? Because I'm used to Disneyland. I gotta get reservations. Here's the thing: if you come to Florida and you get a ticket, so you get your day tickets. Guess what? No reservations required. What? Yeah, you don't need reservations here in Florida. They don't have reservations. Now, if you have an annual pass, it's a little bit different. Annual passes, you need to take a reservation if you're coming to the park before 2 p.m. If you're coming to the park after 2 p.m. with an annual pass, you don't need reservations. I'm not gonna talk about annual passes because everybody knows that. But the thing about this is, if you're just getting your tickets, you don't need reservations. You don't have to worry about that here in Florida. Now, I do want to talk about something when you're leaving the park and you're staying at the uh, Polynesian Village. You want to get back on the monorail. There are two monorail checks. There's the express, and just a normal on monorail. You don't want to get on the express. Let me show you. There's a monorail right here. It says Monorail Express. This is the Magic Kingdom. It takes you to the Magic Kingdom and to the TTC. That's all it, and the, the TTC is where you get the connection to um, Epcot. The TTC is the short for Transportation Ticket Center. So this one is going to skip. It's gonna skip the Grand Floridian. It's gonna skip the Polynesian and go straight to the, uh, to the Transportation Ticket Center. And then it's going to come back here. So if you want to go to Epcot, connect to Epcot from here, you just get on this express. I'll take you to the Transportation Ticket Center. But if you want to go back to your hotel, then you're going to go over here to this entrance. It says Resort Monorail Entrance because you're staying at a resort. All right, so then you walk right here and it says Resort Monorail. And this is where you get on if you're staying at any resorts. If you're staying at the Contemporary, if you're staying at the Polynesian or the Grand Floridian, you just get on this right here really easy and that makes it nice because that way you're not competing like people who are getting on the express they want they're just going to go right to the parking lot and you don't want to get on with those people you want to go to the resorts the only people going to be getting on this are the people going to the resorts super convenient this is like the main ferry boats right over there to take you to parking but we are not parking a vehicle we're staying at a re we're staying at a resort so you come right down here and check it out. They have a little boat here that'll take you back to the resort. You can also use this boat to come here or to go there. It's perfectly, it's just easy to do. So I'm gonna take this boat right here back to the Disney Polynesian Village. Yeah, it's it's really convenient like uh, here. So I'm gonna show you what, I'm gonna show you something to take a look at. There's also a little walkway to the Grand Floridian. Okay, we're walking right in here and we're gonna wait for the boat. I think we just barely missed the boat, but that'll give us some time to talk for a brief second. That resort right there is the Grand Floridian. Now, if you can see right past there, see those giant towers? That's gonna be part of the new Polynesian village. These are some new resort. Uh, it's a new, they're making villas there for the DVC and some like uh, areas there. That is going to be the new expansion of the Polynesian village right there. And that right there is the Grand Floridian, which I'll be staying at. Okay, the boat is coming in. Uh, okay, the boat's turning around right here. Woo -woo. 
boarding the boat. So they had like a little lightning warning. Since this boat isn't like, this this boat is not yeah, lightning maybe. certified, I guess. So they're like, you can't get on this boat. So they're waiting. There's another boat coming that will take us, uh, even though there's, there's a lightning storm going on around here. Florida weather. All right, we got a new boat. All right, here we go. You get on the boat, sit down, relax, have a little boat ride. Could someone explain to me, I know someone can, because I've explained to you once before I was doing the Dizzy Cruise videos. I don't understand the difference between a boat and a ship. I still have a hard time understanding it. They said something like a boat can go on a ship, but a ship can't go on a boat. I, I think that's the, I don't know. On our way. We just stopped here at the Grand Floridian, and now we're gonna continue on to the Polynesian Village. That's the new construction of the Polynesian Resort right there. For your safety, if you're seated, remain seated. And if you're standing, hold on. And book those rooms once it gets uh, opened at the end of this year, 2024. Now you can book it if you want to. And I think everyone's gonna want to because it's gonna be super nice. That's the boat right there. That was just so easy. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. It is faster to take the monorail, but it's kind of cool to take that boat. You know, you maybe you got a little one, you wanna like, like, hey, let's take a boat. And they're gonna love it. And maybe you might wanna, maybe you got like a significant other, you wanna pull one of these <sighs> on the boat. Look at this beautiful beach. This nice little seat to sit at. It's great. The, the craziest thing that's ever happened to me just happened right here and I'm, I'm nervous it's gonna happen again. I was walking along, I was walking, I'm like, now I'm like super nervous. I was walking along all by myself, just minding my own business. And there was like a bird, it was like a black bird, like a raven or whatever. It flew and attacked me, came in from behind it, and it's like little claws, the little talons went on the back of my shirt and grabbed it and it flapped this, and it flew away. I don't know, like maybe it didn't like me in the poly shirt. It was, it was like, get out of that shirt. Provost Park Pass, get back to what you normally wear. I don't even know what happened. That bird literally, ka -ka, ka -ka, I, what the heck? Why would it do that? That was crazy. I mean, now I'm all paranoid about that bird. But anyways, this here is the Seven Seas Marina. You can come here and there's a little thing here. It's just, it says, takemefishing.org. You can book a fishing excursion and they will take you fishing right out of here on these little boats. Right there, little boats. I'll take you out and go fishing. I feel kind of I feel kind of naked because I don't have my shirt and tie on. This guy took my picture, and he sent it to his friends. He's like I got a picture of Pearl's Park Pass, and the guy's like, "Wait, why? He's not wearing the shirt." And he's like, "Yeah, I think he's at the Poly." And then I just met this guy from Rhode Island, and he was like, "Oh my gosh!" And he's like, "He looked really weird without a word, white shirt and tie." I'm like, yeah, I know. You guys, a change. It's a little bit almost. It's a little bad uh, after nine o'clock. I'm gonna go to the park, but I wanna show you this resort at night so it looks like at night before I get to the park. They're having some like party out here. And you got the, 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 like these tiki torches are burning. There's little activities out here for families. Look, they're doing, they're like, shaking like in a parachute, having activities for a family. The kids are running. Wow. They're playing music and a little dancing. Look at the, little, the lights. Some fun activities for kids. All right, Amanda will be here in just a couple days. I bought her that Ola Mill spirit jersey. And the lady's like, is this a gift? I'm like, it is. And they put it in a box for me. So I will keep this until Amanda gets here. I'll give it to her. <laughs> this is what's going to happen in the rest of the video. I am going to go to uh, Magic Kingdom and do the after hours event from 10 to noon. I will tell you how to maximize your rides when I do that. Then I'm going to come back here. We'll do, uh, go to sleep. I'm going to get up in the morning. They have a special, like, stretching yoga party that I'm gonna go show you that. Then after that, we'll do the room test. And then after that, I'm gonna do a character breakfast, all in this one video. I'm worried that I'm gonna get home so late tonight that I'm gonna forget to do the water bottle. So I'm gonna do the water bottle right now before we get ready for bed. Filling up the water bottle. Okay, this lid has gotta be on tight so there's no leakage. All right, got it. Into the fridge, I will see you in the morning water bottle. There you go. All right, I'm gonna go through security to get on the monorail. Okay, here comes our monorail. It's monorail, is that orange? Yep. And it literally is like two stops. We're gonna stop at the Grand Floridian and right to Magic Kingdom. It is so easy and convenient. 
All right, this is the entrance of Magic Kingdom. I will admit I am a little bit early. Oh, I think fireworks are just going. I just heard the fireworks. I'm not gonna start really filming until after uh, the park closes at 10 o'clock. Oh, there are some fireworks though. Can you believe that? Ah a little bonus, a little bonus treat for us. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I love it. I love fireworks. I'm just shocked right out here and it's like fireworks, like 925, we're getting fireworks. So that's perfect. Okay, now we start filming once we get inside around 10, a little after 10. I'm having cream cheese, pretzel, and it's slushy, it's glorious. So it's just a barely a little bit after 10 o'clock at night. Here's what's gonna happen. This is how you're gonna jam the most amount of rides in at this time, so you have two hours. Now, unlike other light night events, like Oogie Boogie Bash, those things, we don't care about rides as much. This is all about rides. This is what you have to realize, is that the park is closed here at 10 o'clock. Now, if people who are coming here who don't have extended hours, if people are waiting in line, Disney's not gonna kick them out. So they're already waiting in line. So what happens, a lot of times people who've never done these after hours events, when they get in here right at 10 o'clock, do you know what they run to? They run straight to the heavy hitters, like Snow White, Seven Dwarf Mine Train, Tron, Space Mountain. They run to the ones that already have a long line. You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the other rides that don't have long lines already and ride those. People Mover, I mean, you can do the Carousel of Progress if you wanted to. You ride those little rides like that, I don't have a long line. Then after about a half hour, around 10.30, 10 10.45, those, line, those, those long lines will be thinned out. The only people who could be riding attractions at this point are people who are staying at a deluxe resort. There's 10 of them. And not everybody's gonna be coming from deluxe resorts. There's not a lot of people here. You can just jam on rides. And the longer you stay, if you're willing to stay all the way till the very end, the last half hour, it is like chef's kiss, a gold mine to get on all the attractions. And I have to say this, this is the one time I feel like Disney's a little bit tricksy with us, is that the posted wait times are always a little bit longer than it really is. I think they do that on purpose so that people are like, oh, I don't wanna get the rides. They're never that long. They're way fast, way fast. So you can get a ton of rides in in these two golden hours. And I'm just gonna walk around and show you the wait times. Let's do this. It's 1010, Buzz Lightyear says 20 minutes. It's not gonna be 20 minutes. Marlon Speedway, and that says 10 minutes. That's 1012. Teacups is five minutes. Winnie the Pooh, five minutes. Seven Dwarf Mine Train at 10, 15, 60 minutes. But that's because everybody's in line there, it, that line will go way down. When the park first closes, you'll see lots of people going up to try to ride rides, but you have to scan your ticket, um, your magic band, or your uh, show your hotel key uh, to be able to ride the attractions. So a lot of people are going to try to ride attraction, but they can't get on. Once they start realizing they can't ride attraction anymore, then they end up clearing out of the park. Peter Pan, 45. It's a small world, negative two. <laughs> Just kidding, five minutes. Haunted Mansion, 13 minutes, which means walk on. Frontierland shooting Cade, no line. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is 25 minutes. I guarantee it's not that long. And if you've ever wondered what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, well, there's nothing back there, so there's no lines back there. You guys, they are testing Tiana's Bayou because it's closed after hours. Look. See a little flash of light? They're taking photos. This is crazy. Check it out, guys. There it is, Tiana's Bayou. They are testing it. We're some of the first people to see this. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's see if we can see the splash. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's 1043 right now, and Pirates is five minutes. Flying carpets, no line. Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, no line. Beautiful, beautiful castle. Tomorrowland looks great at night. It says 20 minutes, there's no way, let's test it. 
zone will all be powers. This is not a 20 minute wait. Yeah. It says 20 minutes. And uh, what was that? 19 seconds. Haven't even left room one, baby. All right, all right. If you ever do max it, you go tell them at the counter and they should give you a sticker. Let's see if they do. They give you a sticker that says Galactic Hero, you guys. The first room that you go into, towards the end of the room, up on the ceiling, it kind of looks like it's like an orange, almost looks like it, for the older people, it looks like a CV. There's a little circle there. That one's worth all the points. It's hard to hit though. You can only hit it when you get the car perfectly lined. So you have to use a little joystick to get the car lined up so because your gun doesn't raise up very high. So you move your car over there so that way your gun can reach it. That's where you get all the points. And if you start hitting that one, you'll be you'll max it out before you even leave room one. The more you know. Provost Park Pass, secrets revealed. It's 1058 and Space Mountain is 10 minutes. Do -do 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 Tron. Just learned something big. Tron's still a virtual queue. So when they have extended hours, they have a six o'clock at 6 p.m. You get in a line at 6 p.m. and put your time in to get in a queue. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the virtual queues. Let us write it. So I can't write Tron because I didn't know that. So at six o'clock, I didn't get the virtual queue. So I didn't get a spot to ride Tron. It's a little after 11 o'clock and it's now a 35 minute wait, which is fantastic for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And that line is only gonna get shorter as the night goes on. It's beautiful. You guys, I wanna stay here until close, but this video is about the Polynesian uh, village. And I need to get up early because I have to do yoga with Moana early in the morning. So. I'm going to leave, but I'm going to get, I'll, I'll record the screen times and post them here so you can see them on the screen. These are the wait times when the park was just about to close and recorded them and posted them right here. I don't know which side it's on, so I'm pointing to both sides. But you can look at them there. Whoa, wow, that's that's crazy. That's not very long. Holy cow. What? That's even more crazy. <laughs> okay, good night. This bed feels good, though. I can say that. How do I get that light off? Good night. Let's do the Z test here in this bed. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am not sure if this is influenced because of how tired I was or if I'm overwhelmed by how amazing this beautiful resort is, but this bed was one of the better beds I've slept on. I'm giving this four Zs out of five, four Zs out of five. It was fantastic. I woke up, I feel refreshed. It was really good. I mean, it was a very good bed. I, I like So yeah, this is definitely four Zs out of five. Good morning everybody. This morning's video is gonna be a little bit different than the other videos we've done. So we're gonna go do look at this little Moana experience. Then after that, we're gonna go uh, look at the swimming pools. Then after that, we're gonna go check out the other room tests. Then after that, we're gonna go have a character breakfast. Whew. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead and separate the legs. I'm about to hit this into part. We're gonna reach for this guy. Good, we're gonna take two steps forward and back. And then two to the side. One and two. Good. So bring the arms out wide, heels in, toes out. Bend the knee, pinkies to our hips, open palm. Good. We're gonna inhale, lift, shooting the the lava up the volcano. Oh my Good. We're gonna swirl the lava and shoot it up the volcano. You know? Or a sideways arm. Two steps toward. Good. Back to the center. Good. Shoot it. It was up. 20 minutes long. It's a Zumba class. 
they had all families there. They had moms, dads, little kids. Some kids were just kind of like running around. You don't know what they're doing. But it, it was very easy to do. But I, it felt like I could feel my body stretch. I was like, that's awesome. I have a few minutes before the pool's open. So I'm going to come in. Let's do the room test right now. And then we'll go check out the pool. Okay. Let's check out the water bottle. Very cold. Very cold. No problems there. Water bottle test is a go. Cold. Shower test. Okay, this, it, it might be hard to see. Let's see, I'm gonna switch it. This is, I'm sorry, Art of Movies. We got a new king. We've got a new king. Yes, this is, this is the pressure was awesome. Yeah, you could strip paint off of this. Super satisfying shower. I never thought I would even use this graphic, this whole mammoth excursion. This is five drips out of five. This was a, the best shower I've had so far. It was awesome. The pressure, it's enough pressure that like when you put water in your face, you're like a little bit like nervous. You're like, oh, do I want to get it? Because it's just, and the, the rain shower was great. This is the best water pressure I've had on the, on so far. Five drips out of five, guys. Five drips out of five. Flush test. Here we go. Not bad, I'm giving this three and a half flushes, three and a half flushes out of five. This is the children's play area here at the Polynesian Village. It is the best play area I've seen for children. It's almost like its own little water park. They have little slides. You get to walk up here. I'll try to get a little closer if I can. They have a giant water a water slide that goes down here. It's dumping buckets. There's a little grotto there they play in. There's some water that they can splash in. This is amazing. As you can see, like they get to come here, they get to go up these stairs. That is the water slide that enters the water slide. It's also like a little area where the waterfall comes down. There's other areas that get a little deeper from the plan. There's all kinds of activities for them to do, steering wheels, ropes to pull. This is impressive. This is the other side of the pool area, so you kind of get an idea. It is really, they got like a water gun that you shoot. This is the best children's play area I've seen so far. Hands down. That is the exit, the giant water slide that goes up through the mountains. This is the swimming pool. Once that it opens up, I'll be able to go in there. They have a water slide here. And it's also got a sloped entrance, which is great for parents with little kids. Right here, they have a little hot tub, a little teeny tiny hot tub right there. Not teeny tiny, but a nice little hot tub right there that you relax in the evening. They call it a spa. And back over here is your swimming pool. All right, here we are. They just opened it up, guys, and a lot of people are coming in. I'm trying to go fast. So plenty of seating area. This is the pool area right here. Right there, those are the stairs that go up into the um, to the pool area. Now you can take these stairs and just walk behind the grotto, which is what we're gonna do. It has a very impressive water slide, and the theming here is spectacular. Let's just kind of walk up and go look over here. You can see the pool area right there. This is where the water slide comes out. This is how you go down to get in the water slide. You can see they're coming out of the water slide there. Walking down here takes you into a little grotto area. And the back side of the water. You can come in and out of the pool here. It's a fun area. They also have restrooms right here. Super convenient. And you'll notice that the water, it's a sloped entrance into the pool that makes it super nice for parents and for with little ones. Right over here, they have a they have like this uh, little bar area. They have fun tropical drinks, all the things. It's called Barefoot Pool Area. Look at these featured cocktails. You grab these right here. You can grab they have drinks as long as you're six feet away from the water. You can grab these drinks. They also have a little ping pong area. They have plenty of seating and towels for you. They also have uh, life vests, complimentary. Just open up the pool and you can see people are starting to come in. It is it fills up very fast. It is a very pop your pool area it has some of the best theming i've ever seen of a pool that's the water slide 
That back there is the children's area where they have that little splash area. And then right up here, that is the hot tub. And the hot people are already in the hot tub. Let's rate it. On a scale of one to five pools, one to five pools, this is four and a half pools. Four and a half pools. It's absolutely wonderful. The theming is good. They play good music. It's a lot of fun. The pool, I'm gonna be honest, the pool is, is a great pool. It's not the most breathtaking pool, but the theming, the music, and the children's play area just pushes it over the top. So I'm gonna give this four and a half pools out of five. Four and a half pools out of five. And it is what, a 10.02 right now? And it is already, tons of families are just pushing their way in. They all wanna be there. People hang out in this pool all day long, so just be aware of that. Transportation, we gotta talk about transportation. Monorail, monorail. We've talked about the monorail. We've talked about the little boat. Now we gotta talk about buses. Bus, 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 bus. Right here, they have a little bus stop. It's the bus depot. You can't, from here, you can catch your buses to all the theme parks you'd like to go to. If you wanna to go to Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios, that is the bus, 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 bus. These are the little bus areas here. You wave your buses, you take a bus. Now somebody was keep making comments. I just wanna make this very clear. You can take a bus from resort, uh, from, from park to park after 10 in the morning. So if I'm at Animal Kingdom and I wanna to go to Epcot, I can definitely go get on a bus to take me to Epcot. If I'm at Animal Kingdom and I wanna to go, to go to Magic Kingdom, I can take a bus to go to Magic Kingdom. You can only do that though after 10 a.m. in the morning. So if you get it right the first thing when it opens up, it's not gonna be having buses, transportation until after 10 a.m. Somebody's like, that's not true. Verified it multiple times, it's completely true. Um, but this is your little bus schedule. You're gonna catch buses from here. These buses here will take you to uh, Animal Kingdom and to Hollywood Studios. There goes the, the Animal Kingdom bus. Super easy. Again, to get to Magic Kingdom, you got the monorail or you got that little boat. And to get to Epcot, you're gonna take the monorail and then transfer and take the monorail again to Epcot. Really easy to do here. And again, they have these right here. And they tell you like, use monorail, use watercraft, use monorail, they'll tell you. And they tell you exactly what time they're gonna be here. So easy. If you ever have a question about transportation, when you check in, you tell the people at the front desk or the bellhop, they will, they literally will sit down and help you and figure it all out. It's, I know that the first time you come out here, it's your, if it's your first time, you're a little intimidated, but after you've been here for 15 minutes, you're like, oh, why was I even worried about this? This is so easy to do. So, all right, we're gonna go to the room. I have some shout outs to do. And then after that, we're gonna go do a character breakfast. Okay, let's do a few shout outs here. And then we're gonna go off and do a character breakfast. Let's do this. <clears throat> the first shout out is from that filming, that film guy 475, that film guy 475. It says, your videos are always great. The good vibes you and Amanda and Miles send out in the world are second to none. Thank you so much. Just one question though. Why do you always wear a tie? That's, that's a fantastic question of the film guy. So when I first started this channel, uh, I was working in Irvine. I worked at a professional company. I was the uh, director of sales enablement for like a $2.3 billion company. And I had to dress professionally, suit and tie, white shirt and tie and a suit. And I go in every day, I would work. And when I started my channel, I would literally leave work, take my suit jacket off and just go to the theme park and film a video. And what I would also do is I would take two ties with me. I'd film one video and then I'd take my tie off and put a new tie on and then film a second video. Uh, so it would look like I was there for two different days. And then I come back and I would edit the video and put it out and I'd edit the second one and put it out. And that was just a thing. I didn't even think of that when I first started the channel. It was just something that just kind of a serendipity just because of work. It was easy for me to leave right after work, go straight to the to Disneyland wearing my suit and tie. I just take it on my suit jacket. It was too hot for my suit jacket. And then what happened is that one time it was one of the very first times that anybody had ever recognized me in the park. It was this young girl, maybe 12 or so. And she came up and she's like, Chris, Chris, Chris. And I wasn't wearing my white shirt and tie. I was wearing a t-shirt. And she's like, oh my gosh. And she goes, I love your channel so much. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And she's like, can I get a picture? And I was like, sure. And then she looked at me and she's like, why aren't you wearing your white shirt and tie? Nobody will believe me. And she almost started to cry. And so from that moment on, I was like, I will always wear a shirt and tie. So uh, yeah, that's exactly why I did it. It was just because of my job, I had to wear a suit and tie. This next shout out is from Oreo3754, Oreo3754. And he says, I wanna give a shout out to my beautiful daughter, Julie. Heart, 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 heart. Hi, Julie. This is from, this is, this is from a big shout out to you, Julie. Um, my daughter, Julie, loves all things Disney, especially Tigger Tails and Dole Whips. Thanks for your incredible challenge and all the effort. 
Uh, we are really enjoying them and, your, and, all, and all your videos. Drink water and eat a Dole Whip. Julie, wasn't this a great little shout out right here at the Polynesian where they have Dole Whips? This is a shout out to Expressive Meat. It says Expressive Meat and all they said was thanks. That's all they said. So I wanna say thank you so much. This next shout out is from Santa Rosa Stormtrooper Greg. Santa Rosa Stormtrooper Greg. It's a shout out. Thanks, Chris. This is Craig, uh, your Stormtrooper fan, TK77776 from Disneyland. I remember you fondly. I know exactly who you are. Uh, my wife, Janet, and I have been watching each video all the way through each night. These are so much fun and helpful for people like me who have never been to Disney World. I've always felt so overwhelmed. I think that's a common thing when we, people who aren't used to Disney World, we do feel, I felt overwhelmed the first time, so that's okay. I felt, always felt so overwhelmed in choosing where to stay when I, to stay. When I finally do a trip there, these videos are great and we're getting all the details. Keep it up. Can you, you can take a break, uh, keep it up. Can you take a break for a day? It looks exhausting. It does feel like Groundhog Day with all the rooms the same. Don't stress, this is some of your best stuff and hey, I'm speaking to you, you're great. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah, it, it feels a little bit like Groundhog Day, but things are kind of changing up. The rooms are, are getting a little bit different and it's getting a little bit better. Thank you so much. This next shout out is from CC.7654. It says, hi, Chris. We couldn't have done our Christmas at Disneyland without your terrific videos. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. I want people to have a good time at Disney. It's brought me so much joy. I hope that you had a lot of joy too. So I'm glad to hear that. I would like to give a shout out to my incredible daughter, Claire. Claire is your biggest fan. Hi, Claire. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that is all the shout outs I'm gonna do for today. If you wanna do a shout out, you can. There's a little button down that says thanks. You click on the thanks button and uh, put a little message there. As long as the message is appropriate, I will read it and on uh, and one of these uh, uh, resort review videos. And, and, uh, and when you do that, that goes a long way to help cover the cost of this massive undertaking. So thank you so much for you guys' support. I appreciate it so much. All right, on to character breakfast. <laughs> I just looking at some more of these shout outs. I have to get this one. It's called Loco, Loco MC Yo-Yo. It's a Loco MC Yo-Yo. And he says, hi, Chris. I love your videos. I don't have a comment. More of a request for us viewers. Can you do an on-screen moonwalk for us? <laughs> Keep up the great work. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to do a moonwalk for you. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna aim the camera low because I figured you wanna see my feet when I do this moonwalk. Here we go. <laughs> I just checked my bag. It's right there with the baggage claim. They're gonna deliver it to the Contemporary Resort. That's kinda loud. They'll deliver it to uh, the Contemporary Resort. Cause I'm just gonna be taking a monorail from here to Contemporary and uh, you have to get on, go through security. So taking a suitcase on a monorail can be a little problematic. So I'm just gonna have them deliver it right to Contemporary. All right, I have a couple of cool things I wanna show you right before we go to the character dining. So I learned some stuff when I was doing some research on this amazing resort. Let's see if I can show it to you. Oh, and when you come into this lobby, uh, it smells amazing. It's like Hawaii. Polynesian was built in 1971 and went through its last major renovation in 2022. Now it's, it's all like the South Seas theming. The rooms, you can have rooms that have like king beds, double queen beds. They have some rooms that sleep all the way up to eight people. They have those villas, they have bungalows. It is a really, um, a really great resort here. Oh, I forgot to talk about this Oasis pool. So Oasis Pool is awesome. It's a quiet pool, it's open from seven to 11. It's really nice and they have these bungalows here. You could, you could have these bungalows. You need to reserve the bungalows and they say reserve them up to 60 days in advance. I wish there was just somebody you know who could do that. Oh wait, get away today. Now, something kind of cool to see. See this here, the second level? These second levels here, they don't have balconies. You notice there's no balcony in the second level, but there is on the third level. That's because it is high. So in the South Seas, they don't have balconies on the second levels because they were always worried about pirates. So in order to keep up with that theming, you'll notice that some of them don't have balconies. That's just for a theming aesthetic. All right, guys, now we gotta talk about prices. Prices here at the Polynesian. It's $650 to $2,000 per night, depending on what type of room that you're going to get. $650 to $2,000 per night. Again, though, that prices vary. It's, they fluctuate, they're seasonal. I know I've said this so much, but you guys, 
This is how I did it. This is how you should do it. In order to get the lowest price guarantee, book through Getaway today. If you go to Disney.com and you booked right through them, it's gonna cost more money for you. Save your money. Go to Getaway today. So if you click the link down below, that's gonna guarantee you the lowest prices. And plus, they'll give you the concierge service for free by using that link. And that's something they provide to Provost Park Pass. That's something for you guys. You get that for free, concierge service for free. Or you can call at 1-855-1855-GETAWAY. And when they answer, be sure to tell them that your friends at Pro's Park Pass, because then you'll get that concierge service for free. And that's how I got this character dining that's coming up here. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go do the character dining. This character dining is at the Ohana restaurant. It's one of the most popular restaurants. If you are trying to just do this for yourself, you got to get reservations 60 days out in advance. Minimum 60 days out in advance. That's the very first day you can start getting reservations. You have to do it because it's going to fill up. I just wish there was a way that somebody would do this for you. Oh, right. Get away today. They'll take care of it for you. When I was booking all this, uh, I told them, I was like, hey, what are the most popular restaurants? They're like, Ohana's. We'll get you a, res a reservation. They took care of it for me. So I have this character breakfast at, uh, in just about 15 minutes. Let's go have a character breakfast. Right behind me is the waiting area. Those are all people who've had reservations. Uh, it is jam-packed. I just checked in. They're gonna text me when it's time to go and sit down and have my character breakfast. But I mean, like, all those people there, they all have reservations. They're all waiting to get in. Table's ready, going in. All right, we're getting ready to go in. They're getting me some uh, pineapple coconut bread. <laughs> so this is a family-style restaurant. They bring out lots of food and eat pretty much as much as you want. And they have, do have character meet and greets. And we're gonna have, looks like we're gonna have Mickey Mouse, uh, Pluto, Lilo, and Stitch. And they take your time. They'll do autographs for little ones. You get some photos. It's gonna be a really good thing. Oh boy. The bread is sticky and warm. They also bring you it's, uh, pog juice. It's very, it's all over in Hawaii. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pineapple, orange, and guava pog. Fruit. There goes Pluto. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> yeah, oh, you see, yes, right there. Oh, looking very good. <laughs> I want you to know that when, when Chip and Dell, I root for you because I know, yes, yes, they're, they cause trouble and you're one of my very favorites. So thank you, Blue. <laughs> I just always wanted to say, what's up, dog? Oh, terrible. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I love, I love the lay. You look great. Oh, oh. <laughs> so good, so good Pluto, thank you. When I was younger, Pluto was my absolute favorite character. Like, all that, that was like, oh. <laughs> huh? I'm, oh, I love your dress. You look so good. This is so fun. You look great. With the flower in Yes, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Tell me, are you having a good day? Are you thinking, oh yeah? Love, oh, doing a little swimming. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I was like, Pluto was like my favorite. Now, if you have kids here, they'll take time with each of the kids. They'll sign autographs for them. You get photos with them. You do all everything. Since it's just me, I'm just doing a little video. It's kind of a little bit quicker. But they take their time with each table. So you're, each child is going to get individual time with that character. They brought up Mickey Waffles. And look at this. They got some biscuits. Looks like potatoes. And, <laughs> what is it? We got all this stuff. Now this is like an Ohana type of family style dinner. So you, you, they bring out a big skittle, skillet. If you had more people, it'd be a lot more food. But since it's just me eating this, this is what you get here. And you can have as much as you want. A little celebration. Oh my gosh, here they go. Oh, Mickey looks so good in the white pants. I can't believe this. The waffle, it's stick and Mickey waffles. Let's get some good eggs, bacon, ham, biscuits, all of it. On the ham, they have a pineapple, like, compote. Is that compote? Whatever that is. 
It's really good. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. How are you? Oh, you look. I I'm doing really well. I have to. I just. This is the best outfit I think I've ever seen you wear. I gotta show you this. I'm having a hard time. The white pants, Mickey, and the shirt. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for visiting. I just want you to know, you made so many people happy. And we mean, I mean that. You brought a lot of joy to everybody. So thank you, Mickey. And this, this outfit is a white pant, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate it. I have to show the outfit in its entire. Oh my gosh! You look too good. You look too good. So we're gonna have one more visit coming from Stitch. Now, what's interesting is the top three characters that sell the most merchandise for Disney are Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, and Stitch. And they kind of rotate who's gonna be number one. And a lot of times it's Stitch. Stitch is a fan favorite. People love Stitch, and they're diehard fans. It's the same with like Winnie the Pooh. People who like Winnie the Pooh, they like really love Winnie the Pooh. But Stitch is right, right up there as far as selling merchandise. Hi, Stitch. You look great. Oh, yes. You, you, you always look so good. And I love it that you're here and you made people so happy. You have, and I'm glad you found a family here. And you're, the, you're one of the very best. I just want you to know, we love you so much. He's like, ah, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Stitch. I appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good one. Bye. This food is excellent. Um, when I was, my mom doesn't even know this. I don't know if I should even say this, but so good. When I was, when I first got my driver's license, I would drive down to my grandma's house. I would sneak out of school sometimes, and I go down to my grandma's, and she would make me scrambled eggs, and she would put like butter and milk in her scrambled eggs, and they were the best tasting scrambled eggs I've ever had in my life. I love them. They're my favorite scrambled eggs. And these scrambled eggs that they have here taste just like my grandma's. I miss my grandma. I love her so much. But the food here is amazing. It is awesome. And you, can, you just keep eating as much as you want. But for the kids, they have plenty of time to do interactions with the characters. They're going to get uh, signatures. They're going to get photographs, and they'll take time for each of the characters, each, each child, even the adults. They'll take their time with you, which is fantastic. That was awesome. That restaurant was amazing. I wish more anything that Miles would have been there. He would have just loved it. Speaking of Amanda, and Miles, they'll be here really soon. Just a, uh, and so excited. That'll be awesome. Can't wait for them to be here. Okay, now I'm literally going to go get in the monorail and go to the Contemporary. The Contemporary Hotel is the hotel that Disneylanders want to stay at the very most because they're thinking like Disneyland. I'll explain what that means in the next video. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at the Contemporary. Ooh, the Polynesian Village. Holy cow, was it fun. Da -da 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 I loved it. The pool was amazing. The food was amazing. And the room was really amazing. And the whole place was amazing. But boy, howdy, that shower was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. And I want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to our Patreons whose names are going up on the screen right now because without you, I couldn't do this amazing adventure.